Good morning everybody, it's Monday, it's about a 11 o'clock now, um, and sorry, I just got distracted by an email then from EasyJet because I'm actually going to Amsterdam two weeks today and they just emailed me saying I need to check in online, so I need to do that. Let's just quickly write that on the list, bear with me. Okay, so um, it is, uh, did I say it's 11 o'clock already? So far this morning I've done some photos outside with Harry. We've just got back in about 15 minutes ago and it's so cold that our hands still haven't fully warmed up. So obviously warming up with the help of some tea, bear with. Mm. A really good cup of tea if I do say so myself. Um, Harry's making, <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. You didn't film it. What are you doing? Nothing. just parked back up um, from coming from Asda it was really really busy but anyway that's done and now I need to kind of head back upstairs because I think Connor's here and we need to have some dinner before we go out and um, I thought I'd just quickly fill you in on the day guys because I haven't been vlogging out and about really and um, at the moment I don't know why but I don't feel confident enough to vlog when I'm walking around on my own outside I'm absolutely fine doing it when I'm with somebody else I don't really think twice about it but there's something about when I'm on my own, I just get really scared of doing it. And um, hopefully I'll just, just get over that soon enough. And then we're going to have some dinner. And then Connor and I are heading out to go to this um, theatre show. Harry's not coming because it wasn't his cup of tea. So it's just Connor and I. <laughs> okay. We've just left the theatre. Is it called Girls or Calendar Girls? The Girls. The Girls. Uh, what was it out of 10, Connor? 11. <laughs> it was 11. It was so good, wasn't it? Yeah. It made us laugh and everything. And it made me a bit weep at points. Did it make you weep? Yeah, it was. A, it was a sad story. It was actually, really good. I thoroughly recommend it to anybody who's interested. Does it matter which lane I'm in, Connor? No. Where is it on at? With the Lowry. We've been sitting the Lowry, but oh, it's not on at Leeds anymore, is it? Is it touring? No. Where's it going next? Um, I want to say Southampton. I don't think I told them what your job is. Do you want to tell? <laughs> Connor is, do you want me to tell them? Okay. Connor is one of the producers, the best producer, obviously, <laughs> on Jeremy Kyle on ITV. <laughs> and he's been doing it for about four years four now. Four years, mm -hmm. And he works very hard at his job. And you're very good at your job, aren't you? Yeah, so vote. If you're too late, if you'll be up after uh, it, I'm sorry. I well, we're, we've got, we're going to the National Television Awards, so. Yeah. And sometimes, so if you watch Jeremy Kyle, if the name Connor Tracy comes up on the credits, that's this guy in the camel coat. <laughs> this guy. Good morning, everybody. Um, I've got you back on top of the mirror where I do my makeup, which is that position that makes me look really small. Um, but I thought I would talk to you while just putting a bit of slap on because um, I've got a busy day today. I've just been trying to write a blog post which and edit some photos which is taking me ages for some reason. And then this afternoon I'm going to London and then I'm coming back late this evening. Um, I'm going down, generally like a lot of stuff comes up in London like um, events and things like that. <clears throat> and obviously like it costs money every time I go down. It's quite... Okay, so, so a lot of events tend to be only two hours, so if I went for everything I'd travel for double the time that I go down for. So my general rule is that if two things come up that I can go to, then, um, sorry I'm just checking that that's all blended in, then I will make the trip down. Okay, so I'm just about to leave now and I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit of the day. Excuse my flicky hair, I've had it in a bobble all day and now it's well, all morning and now it's all flicky but hopefully it will stop flicking soon enough and um, so I'm very layered up today because it's cold and um, I've got on this is a cost turtleneck jumper it's super skinny so it's really good for layering over that I've got like a really dark charcoal grey cashmere jumper this is from Gap via Zalando it's on sale at the moment I would highly recommend it um, and then I have on my trusty 
Isabel Morant blazer. And then over that I have my even more trusty cost black coat, which I've had for years now and still love. And it still looks great and like new. Some also hit skinny jeans and then of course some unpractical shoes, my Gucci loafers. And um, the main reason I'm wearing these is because I've got a blister on the back of my foot. So even though my feet will be a little bit chilly, at least um, they're not going to be hurting. So yes, off we go. Just at the Oliver bonus press, um, not press, it's like a blogger preview thing. I like this of their new collection. I love that shirt. It's all lovely and summery. And look at these pieces of jewellery. They're just gorgeous. And this, I love this. I think that my mum would like this. That's quite my mum. That's nice. It's a lovely shirt. They have some lovely things. All summery and lovely. Ooh, look at that bangle. It's gorgeous. everybody it is Wednesday and um, about 10 o'clock mum's here today because we're doing some blog photos um, and I'm just waiting for my last vlog from last week to upload which just always takes so long and I thought I would show you some of the bits that I got um, in London yesterday from the different events and things like that I had a very good afternoon there and um, I first went for some lunch with Ellie from the Ellet store um, I'll link her like blog and channel everything because she's an amazing blogger and she's just just really lovely and then I went to a PR showroom thing just to meet um, with this PR lady face to face and have a bit of a chat and stuff which was really really nice we got on really well so that was really good and finally I went to an Oliver bonus fashion preview thing and um, so the bits I've got from the PR room and the Oliver bonus so I'll show you the PR stuff first um, Right, so the first thing I got is a moisturising oil by a brand called Marley. I think that's how it's pronounced. Can you see it there? Um, and this is all like natural um, ingredients, things like that. I'm not going to open it, actually. I'm going to save it to open a bit later. But I smelt the stuff in the showroom and it's so, so good. And I also, which Harry's very excited about as well, got two of these. Um, they're called Colour Refresh by a brand called Maria Nila. And they are, you know, like kind of washed stuff. You know how you get like the purple shampoo if you've got um, blonde or grey hair, stuff like that. It's it's like this, but for different hair colours. So they have loads of different colours, but only darker ones will work on darker hair. But if you're blonde, like all of the colours that they have will make a difference. So I've got the black one. And it just basically adds the shine to your hair of that colour, if that makes sense. So it's not going to turn my hair black. It just gives it a darker... Um, a darker shine and it's completely non-permanent it's just like a hair treatment so yeah i've got the black one and autumn red let me show you just how red can you see that it's very very dark so i'm excited to give those a go as well so then from all the bonus we all got given these really cute um bubble hats which are like the innocent smoothie hats you know they did the ones for the um smoothies but this is obviously for a, a person sized hat and yeah so that's really cute and then some bits here these are all wrapped up and i haven't opened these this is exciting so the first thing is this little pouch which you could use for anything really couldn't you as a makeup bag to put change in anything like that and um, it's just a canvas pouch with a leather zipper and it says bonjour on the front Ooh, it's some hand nail cream in the scent jasmine I very much like the packaging. Let's see what it's like. Oh, I need, really need some hand cream as well. Oh, that's what it, the bottle looks like. I love bottles that look like this. They look a bit like oil paints, don't they? Oh, that smells really nice. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm going to put that straight in my handbag because I really need some hand cream. And then finally, we have... Oh, a candle. Bluebell and hyacinth. Is that how you say that, Mum? Mm -hmm. Very fresh. That's nice in the bathroom. Really strong. That's mm -hmm. very nice. So, that was in that pretty bag. So, thank you very much, all the bonus. Got some fun. Like that? No. Think I look cool? No. Think I look real cool? Yeah, I look cool at all. I do. 
that looked real cool. Super cool. Going out to do the last sort of blog photos and it's sunny, hence hence the spec. Hi! Hello Hi! And then we're going to the cinema to see the Revenant. Revenant, yeah. And Revenant. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was saying it right. And then that's that's it for the day. I'm here. Oh, on our way to the cinema. Bum, 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 bum. A 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 an absolutely clear skies, Go on, blue behind. blue skies, beautiful weather, crisp and clear, perfect winter's day. Popcorn, Harry goes for sweet, I go for salted every time. Salted is so much better and also I can never eat that much because it's like, just dries you out. You look like I a raisin. It in my beard. You like a <laughs> mm, you'll be, your mouth will be so dry at the end. Right, how excited are you out of 10 for this? 10. 10. Yeah. I'm excited for it, but it's just long. It's two and a half hours long, and I'm kind of not done. I'm not. I'm just explain it all in an hour. Yeah. I'm just sort of dusting about today because I've got loads to do. I've just done all my photos, but I've got loads of stuff to do, and I'm at cinema for some reason. But no. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Seems to be like the theme of my life. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Good evening, everybody. I am just. Getting ready for bed and washing my face. I thought I would just tell you all about the film. Um, we went to the Revenant, and yeah, it was really good. It was pretty like heavy. If that makes sense. I, I, there were some really gruesome scenes at the beginning, and while it wasn't gruesome throughout, it was very like I don't know, maybe brutal is the word. It was just heavy throughout, but it was very, very good. Um, and Leonardo DiCaprio was amazing in it. And the cinematography was really beautiful. The scenes and things, the scenery, and the way his film was stunning. So it was visually really great to watch. And the storyline was very good as well. It was just super heavy. Right now, I'm just gonna brush my teeth and then get into bed, read for a little bit. And then go to sleep. I'm not sure what time it is. I think it's about half 10-ish, something like that. Um, yeah. So that's that, that's the plan now and I will see you all in the morning. Good afternoon everybody. It is Thursday afternoon. I'm just popping out hair in the mouth, hair in the mouth. This morning I've just been sat at my computer all morning and now I'm just popping out to pick up some bits and then later this afternoon I'm heading home for the night. Um, but yeah, for now, on my way out, picking up some bits of Desperate for a Coffee. So that's the agenda for now. Not a very eventful day, that kind of thing. So, um, I just got back from the shops, and I also bought something for us, um, which is this tea towel, which I'm struggling to show you. It's a tea towel, it was 15 pounds, it's from Fig and Sparrow, and it's a map of the Northern Quarter um, well, Manchester generally, but focusing. Well, no, it's not focusing on the Northern Coast at all, is it? I'm making that up. So I bought, because I, I want to put it on the wall, basically, but I don't want to pay to get it framed, because it's quite big, and every time I take something to frame, it's like 100 quid, so I don't want to pay for more stuff to be framed. So instead, I bought some bulldog clips. I've just got one on each corner, and we're just going to pin it on the wall. Well, put some nails in the wall, and then... Um, just hang it on the holes in the top of the bulldog clips. So now I'm just going to pack up a bag. I got myself some coffee and hurry a coffee. I'm going to pack up some stuff to go home. I basically want to set off about it's five to two now. And I, I want to set off at half past two so that I miss the rush hour. I'm back home and look who I'm with. My favourite is, oh, biting is the best, isn't it? It's so kind. Hey everyone, I'm back home now and I've quickly just got ready to go out and I thought I'd show you my outfit real quick. Um, I have on here a jumper from Gap via Zalando, my trusty cost cape which I wear all the time, I just always chuck it on with stuff. Um, cost short coat, 
some All Saints skinny jeans in the mast style as always and then my Ted and Muffy over the knee boots and yeah I like this I'm just going to take my Celine bag too. Laura's drink is having a moment. <laughs> a very bubbly moment. <laughs> very crazy. What's it meant to taste of? Uh, it's a gin one. Oh, I've got a passion fruit mojito. 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 I can't get over yours. Play this game with Daphne and it's called the Undercover Burrower. When you play it you go bum bum bum. Undercover Burrower. Bum bum bum. Undercover Burrower. Bum bum bum. Undercover Burrower. She loves to burrow under the covers. Look at that face. Hello, Daphne. What are you doing? What are you burrowing? I've just got back to Manchester. Make yourself a cup of tea. It's now 20 past 11, the jet, I set off about half nine again because I wanted to miss the rush hour and the traffic was really bad so it took me quite a lot longer than it should have done. Um, well actually I guess not that much longer. Um, so yeah, just making some tea um, and today I need to check if I've missed it already but I'm basically waiting for a parcel because I want to film a whole video for Sunday. Um, and I just want what's in this parcel to see what that's like, to see whether I can include it or not. So I need to check whether I've missed that parcel already. I really hope I haven't. Um, uh, ah. Well, yeah, it's like half the day's gone already. I've got back and I've seen Harry's put up that tea towel I'll just show you. Doesn't it look good? Next to our Bob Dylan print. I love it. I think it looks really good on the... Um, Oh, what are they called? Bulldog clips as well. It's such a like cheap way to get something on the wall rather than having something framed. So I absolutely love that. I'm going to keep my eye out for more things like cute tea towels and just stuff like that to hang in the same way because I just think that looks so good. I've like rearranged the whole living room because I've just been filming a video against this wall and I've done like a house style fur and it's i just need to sit down and film the intro but i think i've filmed it all now i'm absolutely starving it's half two um so i'm gonna put things back film this intro just while i've still got the light and um then have something to eat but the reason i ended up not filming a haul is because the mad parcel hasn't arrived um so yeah i might do the haul for next week because... so it's quarter to six now um and I, I am just having a good day. I've just faffed about today so much for God knows what reason. I've just not even been knowingly procrastinating and then I'm like, it's quarter six, what the hell? I've got so much to do. The laptop is, I'm genuinely really worried about it. I think it's going kaput, but it's like whirring really loudly and the mouse won't move. And what I'm gonna do is, I make myself a drink, I make myself a whiskey and coke because even though I've still got stuff to do, it's Friday guys. So I'm gonna take, make myself a drink and then um, sit and do a bit more work until Harry gets back, whatever time that may be. Sorry, I'm not paying attention to what I'm filming at all. I'm really sorry, it's probably all over the place. Oh my God, I'm all over the place. What am I even saying? I'm gonna wait till Harry gets back and then stop if I can log in. It's my computer, it's not letting me. Let's try again. So it is um, quarter to 11. Harry still isn't back home yet, so he's obviously having a good time. <coughs> Last time I heard from him, he said he was still at the pub, so I'm not gonna wait up for him. I'm just gonna go to sleep and let him get back at whatever time he gets back. But I just finished my book. I just finished The Truth About the Harry Kubert Affair. The next book I'm gonna read is Lolita because um, I have never read that before and um, yeah just I know that it's meant to be a really um, interesting and very good book good morning everybody it is Saturday it's now about 11 30 we're just on our way out um, I need to go out to a video I need to go to the post office I'm going to stop by the framers to see if there's some pictures already because we haven't heard anything. 
I need to take some photos. So it's just one of those days at the moment of like little bits and bobs. Um, and then we, Harry and I might go out for some dinner this evening. And other than that, just relax a little bit. We bought some flowers, some pretty flowers, some lilies, and then this beautiful flower. Oh dear. Oh. And some, these we've had already, and then some tulips. Just sat down with our cream. I've got a dirty meat set. Dirty lovely. Harry's got a beer, as usual. We've been desperate to get a burger. Um, we tried Sleeters and Almost Famous, and they both have an hour away and we're starving, so we're in common. I don't know if you can hear me. It's lovely in here, so we've just ordered a burger and some chips. We've got some sweeties, peanut M&M's, midget gems, tea, water, candle, buffy, feet and socks and slippers and I'm feeling flawless. Fruity, no flawless. Flawless. Flawless is always. I was just looking on Etsy. Flawless. Flawless. I woke up like this. I woke up like this. Anyway, I was looking on Etsy earlier. Never drop that alcohol. Never drop that alcohol. Send them. Send them. No seven Christ. No rolling eyes. No, no, you were scared. I was looking on Etsy earlier at Buffy stuff, and you can buy a Sunnydale High um, hoodie, and I want one so bad. And we're at the scene where Cordelia and Xander are going to kiss, so I've got to watch it. I ruined it for Harry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's not really the scene. It is the scene. It's not. Shut up. Oh, look. Driving through, driving through. Um, oh, I want, trying to go through the McDonald's drive through at Asda to get a coffee before we go and do our shopping. So I don't know where I'm going. Here we go. Here straight we go. on. Straight on. Here we go. Here we go. Here Probably we go. Here just we go. Here as we quick go. to go in, but we're not. Well, we're here now. Um, so that's that. Looking extra egg-like this morning. Oh, I don't know if you, I don't egg, know if they'll ever heard you call me egg. Harry always calls me egg because I've got a head like an egg. So that cream egg advert that's out at the moment. What does he say? Yeah. He um, goes. What's your name? No, he's like egg. <laughs> that's a beautiful name. <laughs> I love that advert. It speaks to me. Yeah, it speaks to you and I'm you only. Egg. Um. Yes, we're just going to Asda to do a bit of food shopping. I wish I was one of those people that loved food shopping. Sometimes I do, but I, I quite like, like go going around it because like you can sort of it's big. And we only ever go to this one, and I don't really like Asda. I like the supermarket no, though. I don't. Anyway, and then we are then Harry's family are coming. We're going to go for something to eat at Turtle Bay. That's books for two, so they're coming before then. And um, then we'll probably watch some movie. Mm. This evening. Have a chiller. Good evening, everybody. Hello, Harry. Hello, quarter past seven. It's quarter past seven. We just finished a small Buffy marathon. We went out for lunch earlier at Turtle Bay. It was delicious as always. And we're just relaxing. Relaxing. Real. Well, let me show you the cat. You know, tripped over the rug. Remember ages ago when I showed you that candle that my friend Laura got me and it was a cat and it burns down to a cat skeleton. Let me show you where we're up to with that. Look at how cool it is. Can you see? It's like, it does move as well. You can start to see the skeleton. It's really cool. What else can I show you? Oh, bought these candles today in Asda. Got rid of the red Christmas ones. So we have these. Over here, we have a new mirror. Harry's mum bought us. Hey, me. Um, and we really, really, really love it. We've, we've been walking around the house deciding where to put it. We can't quite decide yet, so we're just going to wait on that a bit longer um, and maybe try it in a few more places before making our final decision. We are just heading to bed now to read. Um, oh, that wasn't a good idea. There we go. Um, to read 
and yeah, to call it a day. I've just put my hair in flats because sometimes it makes it go nice and a bit textured and wavy in the morning, but I didn't quite get my uh, matte proportions right for each plait. So then I had to do this little extra one at the back here, which just, I realise this looks it's very strange. Oh, I also painted my, oh, let me show you the neat hand. It was a neat, not very neat, but I also painted my nails. So we get into bed, read my book. Harry's already in bed and sign off this weekly vlog so all the usual stuff thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video